This is where it all began. First in a crowded trailer and later in this unassuming house on a tree-lined country road. Two giggling teenagers, Robin Adams and Cheryl Tyson, playing with a Ouija board, unknowingly set the stage for one of the strangest criminal cases in Michigan history. When a minister came to deal with the frightening aftermath of the Ouija board conversations, he was angrily denounced by a neighbor, Aubrey Vincent, a bearded painter and sculptor whose art reflected his tormented psyche and seeming alliance with the dark side. Early in their Ouija board dialogue, a mysterious presence predicted that Robin would die before her 17th birthday. After graduating from high school, she took a job as a living babysitter. Soon after, she broke up with her boyfriend, a handsome Mexican-American, Melvin Garza, who turned violent in response. On a steamy August night in 1976, when Robin disappeared from this house in the village of Carroll, suspicion immediately pointed to Melvin. But police lacked a body or any eyewitness evidence, and the case eventually went cold. Ultimately, several people who came together to bring a killer to justice were beset by tragedy. A mysterious medium said these events were the work of the killer's grandmother, who practiced black magic in seeking vengeance against those who had brought shame to her family.